Hollywood Jackson here for Studio A63, and today I'm going to show you the Amplitude 4 and 5 software from IK Multimedia. Now we've had a lot of trouble out of our IK Multimedia Amplitude 4 and 5, and I just kind of wanted to share that with you today. The software itself is amazing, but it is not without problems. And I wanted to show you guys this so that you don't make the same mistake that we've made in terms of your purchases. And what I will tell you is the IK Multimedia stuff is brilliant. The graphics look good. Uh, the sound quality is unbelievable. We have had some issues. Nothing that we can't really overcome, but it does kind of hamper our use of the software at times. Now, I'm working on uh, some music for a commercial, so this is a perfect opportunity because I have a loop track um, that I can show you the difference between the two softwares and kind of do a little sound comparison and show you how it works in the studio. I'm guilty of locking the guitar in on a certain tone and ripping the knobs off of it and never turning it again. Um, I'm guilty of that personally with the bass and the guitar. And so this kind of helps you get outside of that. So you get to use different amps, different setups. You can really dial your sound in. So um, today, what I'm going to show you is the, uh, the use of the Amplitude 4 first on the guitar. And so what is so cool about this software is, first of all, I have my Stonebox section. And so you can add and take away. You can activate the stuff. Now this works really good with the IK Multimedia Stomp IO, um, which we have also purchased. Now, the software is unbelievably cool. Um, you have all kinds of ways to manipulate. All right, and so now you can go to your amp section, and of course here we can change the amp itself. Now you can go into the cabinet section and change your cabinets, like this one here. So I can go in here if I don't like that. I can go in here and change the speakers, which is crazy, insane, sick. All right. And so now I can change the location of the microphone. I can change the microphone. Um, totally changing. I'm going to go ahead and play this again. Um, let's sell it out. Totally changing the sound of this entire setup. And you can also go in, this is one of my favorite features, is you could just go into the browser and type in clean. And everything that is clean will come up. And so you could just kind of go and scroll through the different sounds. And when you find something that you like, you can go and add some stomp boxes. You can go and tweak with the head. Um, you can add some inserts. You can tweak with the cabinets. Um, you also have a rack, A and B. Um, and this thing comes in multiple setups. Uh, you can run it in stereo. You can, I'm gonna go back to the preset mode so, you, so that you can see this. All the different tones that this thing offers. And so now I can go back and type in Fender, which is it's going to give me another model. Let's see. And I've I've used this several times. Just type in Fender, and and now it'll go through all the presets on the Fender. So once once you've found your your setup or your ultimate setup, then you can tune it in. You can go in and build your own. Now that's where I kind of like the Amplitude Five a little bit better. With our studio already having an interface, when we added the the I/O Stomp, it confused the computer. Basically, 
trying to set up the IO stomp as our interface when we already had an interface. So it caused a mountain of problems uh, in the studio. Now, uh, we did we did figure a way around that. And so I'm going to show you that uh, in some videos that we're going to be doing later on. But I wanted you to kind of get a general idea about what this software does and what it is. I'm going to do some videos on the IO stomp and the AmpliTube software itself, 4 and 5. And that's kind of what this is. It's just a little overview of it. And so now I'm going to move on. I'm going to show you the bass. All right. And so th the one thing that I could say, if I, if I had to say anything to IK Multimedia, um, once you create something, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I do not like your new setup. I like the old setup better. The old browser is better. Um, now, I do enjoy the fact that it is all categorized. So the cool thing about the Amplitude 5 is if I want to just go strictly to the base, I can. And so I'm going to show you that. Here, let's see. Turn that up a little bit so you can hear it. Funkified. Now, I can go into, this is what I do like about it. It has categories, clean, crunch, heavy. But we can go back to the single setup here, or you can go use your dual setup or triple, or just the dual line. And so that also is cool because you can use several different setups. I personally like to use the triple with the DI box, um, where basically you're getting a left and a right, and also the DI signal. Um, I've always found that to be kind of cool because you can color it a lot better. Now, I do love the Fender rigs. Um, I'm just a big, big Fender fan. So I'm, I'm going to show you here is what all the different ones sound like. And of course, the orange, awesome orange. But that one to me has got the most tone. I mean, it goes on for days. And you could just really hone in and get that grab ass tone that you really want. And of course, you can save your presets. You can go to your cabinet section. You can move your mics in the room. You can move your mics. You can change your mics. We ended up with the whole IK Multimedia package. So we ended up with the mix box, the T-Rack 5, the Amplitude 4 Max Bundle, the Amplitude 5 Max Bundle. Um, before it was over with, I had spent... Before it was over with, I had spent way more money than I would have initially allowed myself to, but I got a little carried away before I realized that I could have purchased all this stuff in the package. And the most bang for your buck with this whole setup is if you're just getting into digital recording and you're looking to purchase an interface, my suggestion to you is do not purchase an interface. Purchase the IK Multimedia iRig IO Stomp. The IO Stomp pedal gives you all the basic software that you're going to need plug-in wise for your amps, for your guitar, for your bass, and for your master bus outputs, not including your vocals, because you're going to get the stuff for the iPad that's going to come with it. It's also going to give you Amplitude for iPad. It's a cheap version of it. It's not the whole shebang, so don't get excited, because you're not going to have whatever you have in the Max Bundle, you're not going to have on the iPad. That's the only thing I don't like about it, but... The cool thing about the IO Stomp is there is an XLR slash quarter inch input on the backside. It has 48 volt phantom power, so you can plug up a condenser microphone and record your vocal tracks through the IO Stomp. It has left and right output, a uh, quarter inch, and it also has headphone outputs. Um, not to mention it has expression pedal, and you can also add two external pedals to this thing. Um, check it out. It's the IO Stomp. Um, I'm not going to preach a whole lot about it. The IO Stomp was right at 300 bucks, but it comes with the complete Amplitude package. So you're going to get the whole Max bundle with the IO Stomp. Now, I purchased a few things prior to 
purchasing my iOS stomp, the Mesa Boogie rig and the Joe Satriani rig and the Slash rig and a couple of other rigs um, before I realized that if I had just spent the $300 for the iOS stomp pedal board, I would have saved myself money on software that I ended up buying anyways. And so this way, when you buy the iOS stomp, you get yourself a fancy interface a bunch of kick-ass guitar and bass software, plus you get some plugins that work with the the Vocal Live on the iPad and um, Acoustic Live and Amplitude Live, and so those will work. Some of the features you won't have all of them. That's what pissed me off about this whole package is I purchased them to use with my iPad, and then I find out later that I have ten authorizations for the full version of the Amplitude Max bundle. But not for the iPad. If you want all that stuff in the iPad, you got to purchase it separately, which I think is a big fucking ripoff. But that's just me. So for, if you want the most bang for your buck, purchase the IO Stomp. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio A63. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, go ahead and click on that like button. And while you're at it, reach over and hit that subscribe button too. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them down below or just send us an email. I'm Hollywood Jackson for Studio A63. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share those links. And just press on the bell icon if you'd like to receive notifications on the latest music and videos from Studio 863.